Hi everyone, it's Anna. I'm here today with June Empties. So, uh, crink roller. Got my giant bag here, all filled up. And one thing that wouldn't fit, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. This is the thing that wouldn't fit. A big thing of pine saw here. Tiny little bit at the bottom, I'll dump it out at the end. Uh, like in the toilet to maybe freshen it up just a little. <laughs> Um, we love this. Get this in a double pack from Sam's and this is a hundred fluid ounce bottle. So it's huge. I really love this for dirty laundry and like cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that. Really love that. Food item here. I got this, um, at TJ Maxx for $5.99. This is a Tivana herbal tea, uh, beach bellini. It says pieces of pineapple and mango. I drank this cold. Um, really easy to make. Um, this was like, it wasn't sweetened, but it had a nice fruity taste. And um, when you follow the directions, I just let it steep for longer than what it says when making the um, iced portion. So I really loved it. I would rebuy it. I think it is a Starbucks product, which I'm not a big fan of Starbucks as it is. Um, so I might get this again if I saw it at TJ Maxx, but I'm not going to seek it out any other way. But it was really good when I had it. And then I have a Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel Toner. This is a smaller bottle, 8.5 fluid ounces, $5.99 from Marshalls. It's the best price I've seen it so far. Um, they do have a bigger bottle. I've had a harder time finding that, um, places like that. So love that. It's just a regular staple product for me and really love it. Have another one going. We have a member's mark, so Sam's Club. Um, soap refill here, this little bit, just can't seem to get it out. Um, this is in the aloe vera scent. How big is this? 80 fluid ounces. Really love this uh, for refilling liquid hand soap in the kitchen and the bathroom when we need it. Um, we'll repurchase. It's not overly drying or anything. It's nice. And then we have a Dawn Platinum four times faster grease cleaning, um, 2.66 liter or 90 fluid ounces refill bottle of Dawn, also from Sam's. Um, we refill a little baby, um, like a small bottle of Dawn at the sink in the kitchen just because it's easier to handle that way instead of this big mama right here. And little um, reusable hack or something like that. Um, these, these lids and right here, they fit that little baby bottle of Dawn. So, um, even though you wash them, like that one I didn't bother to wash because I knew it was going to be thrown out. Um, they fit, so after a while they get a little grubby even though you wash them and stuff. And so I just started switching them out when this was gone. I just switched out the cap. Um, and this is the cap from the little bottle we have right now. And the new cap is on the little bottle. So <laughs> there's a little tip for you if you happen to be in that very specific product situation. <laughs> Um, we have, I tried a new brand here of dishwasher pods. This is the Cascade Free and Clear. I'd never seen Free and Clear before. Um, we had run out of our regular product that we use and it was just, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then we tried something else. It didn't work that great. I really like these. Ordered these. Um, these came from Harris Teeter just as a way to try them. And I saw them there. So I got them there that day and we needed some. Um, tried them and really, really loved them. I think there were 14 packs in here or something like that. We went through them fairly quickly, but that's okay. And then I ordered a big container off of Amazon. Um, so wood repurchase, they work, work really well. Dishes are nice and clean, love them. So glad they came out with a free and clear version. We really like that. We have a Suave Juicy Green Apple Body Wash, 18 fluid ounces, a little bit hanging out there. I've tried and tried, I've tried to rinse it. I've tried to turn it upside down and invert it. <laughs> <laughs> but finish that. This is a nice juicy apple scent. Really love this. Suave is very affordable and effective. Um, I used Suave back in college and I loved it and I love it still. So would repurchase. Just have a lot to go through, fortunately. We have a Love and Sunshine Body Wash. Picked this up at a semi-annual sale a couple years ago. Um, I really enjoyed this. I was surprised. Um, Sunkissed Daisy, Sweet Lemon, Mars Strawberry, Golden Honeysuckle, Sunshine Musk. My husband said this smelled like strawberry on me. I don't know, but this is a nice like lemony strawberry scent. 
for me when I smell it. Maybe I smell some daisy in there. I'm not exactly sure. Um, this one, really good. Pretty yellow liquid. Would repurchase this if I could um, in the shower gel, if I could ever find it again. Um, nice little summer fresh scent that's still juicy. Um, pleasant, uh, pleasant surprise with that one. We have a lovely pink bar soap, uh, pink dove bar soap. Wonderful at the sink and the bathroom, very moisturizing for my hands. Uh, smells nice, very just like clean, comforting scent. Nice and creamy, cute pink color, love it. Have a few more to go. And then I have a big uh, Joico Moisture Recovery Conditioner. This came from Marshalls, it's a little grubby from being in the shower. $19.99, so 20 bucks. Very metallic packaging. It kind of has like a salt water, beachy scent. It was fine. Um, I went through it kind of fast, but I was being a little heavy handed with it. Don't know why. Um, nothing to write home about for me. Um, it does say for thick, coarse, dry hair. I wouldn't say my hair is coarse by any means, uh, nor would I say is it extremely dry. It was fine. I just used it up. I'm glad I got to try it, but I think it's a one and done for me. Uh, but it was nice. And then we have a cotton candy foaming shea butter hand soap by Michael Design Works. And this was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. Look at that pretty cotton candy packaging. We love a good foam soap around here. This was pretty big. 17.8 um, fluid ounces. So a nice big size. Um, I don't see any scent notes up here, but really cute pink and blue packaging. There's a little bit of purple there too. So really love that color scheme. My husband said this did not smell like cotton candy to him. Um, it just smelled lightly sweet. I, I smell cotton candy. Like the kind you would smell um, at the fair in the bags. <laughs> you know, the big giant bags you can get at the fair. Kind of like that. Um, nice scent. Would I repurchase? Um, sure, maybe if we needed some at some point. We have some hands up right now, so not this moment, but pump worked really nicely and was glad to try it. It was mostly for the novelty of the cotton candy scent, but glad to have used it. And this is a body wash, strawberry milk body cleanser. I think this is a Korean brand. Well, Nara? I, I don't know. I think that's Korean. I'm not sure. Okay. Chonshian Si Gangwon Do Korea. That's what it says on the back of the bottle. Um, this smelled really nice. It's made in Korea. Yeah, I'm not sure. It smells just like strawberry milk. Like when you were in school. Actually, I think it smells better. Um, when they had the bags or <laughs> cartons of milk. Um, this smells really good. It's a body wash. I just ended up using it as liquid hand soap at the sink. Um, we just needed some and this worked out great. Pump was really nice. It's a cute pink color. Love this. Um, and I think I got this at TJ Maxx or something like that at one point. I don't see the sticker right now, but very glad to have used this up. Another hand soap out and it's kind of like a different shape bottle. So it opened up some space for me. Here's a food item. This is random, but I do like to share snacks from time to time and food. So this is the Kikkoman, uh Tofu, Instant Tofu Miso, miso Soup. Um, I found this at my local neighborhood market, Walmart, or Walmart Neighborhood Market, however you say that. This came with, I think, three, yeah, three packets. So each packet is like a serving, and you just add it to hot water. So I just heated up some water in the microwave and added the soup. Actually, I put maybe like double the amount of water for like the sodium uh, flavor for myself, like to make it to your own taste. And it does say that on the package to um, add more water if you would like. This tasted really good. I love miso soup. I have been able to go to an Asian market lately. Um, I would like to get some dashi powder and stuff like that to be able to make my own at home. It's very easy. But this hit the spot and I wasn't going out to any kind of Japanese restaurant to get the soup. And this was really good, so I loved it and I recommend it if you would like that. Uh, I think this was $2.38 or something like that for this packet. Cheaper than going to the store. I mean, cheaper than going to the restaurant. And I actually looked on Amazon. I might even check the Asian markets to see if I can find um, big packs 
of the instant miso soup too to have on hand. So love that. My husband used this up. This is the Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salt and the vitamin C, um, glow and radiance, vitamin C scent. It's a three pound bag. He really likes putting like scented products in his bath water. Um, it just, I think it's just the aromatherapy of it. He doesn't really necessarily notice difference for his muscles and stuff. He just likes the scent. He likes the scent. He would get it again. So that's good. And then this is the usual brand we had of uh, dishwasher washing pads or packets. Uh, the seventh generation uh, free and clear po uh, pods. I think they're called pods. I don't remember how many were in here. I want to say it's like 40 or 45, something like that. Love these, we'll repurchase, but having trouble finding them lately, so we don't currently have them. Have a word search. Um, been really loving doing word searches again. Um, all done. Really fun. Uh, this came from Ollie's for $2.79. Had a bunch in here. There were some extra puzzles I didn't really like in here, like some of them. You have to like find the word in a block and it creates a square and my brain was just not not wanting that at the moment so i just um did the ones i did like it mostly has the regular um word search shape where you look straight across diagonal up and down stuff like that so really like that we have a vo5 kiwi lime squeeze clarifying shampoo and it is 12.5 fluid ounces this was used as a hand soap as well <laughs> Uh, we ran out of the Members Mark stuff, so I was getting creative. Um, we used to do this some growing up, too. Uh, we'd use stuff like this for, like, hand soap, so I just squeezed it into the refill bottle, and it worked really well. Um, yeah, so that's out. I think that came from Dollar Tree. Maybe Walmart. We have an Equate Moisture Last Multipurpose Contact Lens Solution, 12 ounces. Really like this. I have another one going. I am a contact lens wearer, and this, this is very effective for me, so love that. Get it at Walmart, because it's an Equate brand. Normally in a double pack. Another Body Wash Firecracker Pop. Um, we know her. She's great. Love that pink and blue packaging from a couple years ago. Really juicy and fruity and cherry and yummy and very summer, and my husband loved that, so me too. Um, would get more. We have a Neutrogena Hydro Boost, um, fragrance-free hydrating gel cleanser, 7.8 fluid ounces. This is great. Um, they have even bigger bottles now, which I have a bigger bottle going right now. Um, this is a great gentle cleanser. If you don't know where to start with cleansers, this is no frills. It's really moisturizing. Even though it is a gel, it's not stripping, but it is cleansing. My mom has more normal skin, and she uses this too. She loves it. She said it works for getting off her makeup, I believe. I don't normally take this off, use this to take off my makeup, so I can't speak to that. But I can say this is a really lovely formula, and I repurchased over and over, and I like the fragrance-free version. This is exciting. I have a perfume. This is Lombin by Jean Lombin, and this is a 3.3 fluid ounce glass bottle. Really beautiful. Look at that beautiful top there. So uh, Lanvin is a really affordable house of fragrance. This, it smells just like clean shampoo, like maybe Herbal Essences, light and fruity, very clean shampoo. It's not astringent or anything like that. Um, I would spray maybe six sprays at a time. Really beautiful. It had like a light purple liquid. And I think that if you're a healthcare worker or you need some sort of fragrance that no one will really notice this fragrance, but you'll just, they might think it's just your shampoo or you just smell really clean or they might think you just smell like that. This would be great. It's about $30 on like fragrance net or something like, like that for this size bottle. Um, my mom really likes the scent. So does my dad. <laughs> so, uh, I got one for my mom for mother's day and now she has it. Um, I have a lot of other perfumes though, but I would repurchase this. Um, I might at some point if I really, really miss it, but super proud to have that gone. Lasting power for me when I spray six sprays, which some people might say is overspraying. 
I am pretty sensitive to smells. So anything too strong, I wouldn't be able to do that with a super strong, heavy fragrance. I like fruity florals, and this is definitely like a fruity floral, clean smelling light fragrance. Very good for, I think, hot weather and spring. Actually, I wore this in the winter too. I really, really love this. Can't say enough good things and um, just really lovely. So very proud to have a fragrance out. I'm gonna try to start doing more perfumes to get them out. <laughs> um, this is the Ovino Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. And let's see, this is the 18 fluid ounce bottle, cut or open. Now I did not use this whole bottle myself. Um, this came from my mom's house. This was her bottle and she had gotten down to like the part where it wouldn't pump out of the pump anymore, where you have to cut it open if you want the rest of it. And I asked her if she wanted me to cut it open for her and she said, we can just have it. So I finished it like that. It was maybe like a week or two of lotion. Um, very glad to have used it, but I did not use this whole thing myself. Maybe about that much was me. So does that count? Maybe, I don't know, it was a, a gift. <laughs> um, we have a Scotch Bright non-scratch, so the blue scouring pads. I think these came from Walmart. like to use these um, because we do have non-stick things and um, you just don't want to be scraping up stuff, you know, like potentially scratch anything. So when you have something that's non-scratch, you don't have to worry about it. So glad, really love those, have more, have some at the kitchen sink already. We have the Peach Lysis Deep Blemish Micro Darts. Every once in a while I'll get like a stubborn acne mark usually around that time of the month. And these work really great. Um, I just have tried a whole bunch at this point. These are medicated, I I believe. And that, yeah, it has salicylic acid, um, Centella Asiatica, niacinamide, just some good product or good um, ingredients for your skin. And they came inside in a little plastic, like little plastic sleeve. And oh, I don't have anything to show you. But you just put it on a clean face. Um, you do not use these on a blemish that has ruptured or is open or oozing at all. Sorry, it might be gross. <laughs> but you don't use these on broken skin is what I'm trying to say. It definitely helped. I think I definitely think it helped resolve them faster than what they would have done if I hadn't used these. Um, if they, you have a sore acne spot, like it just hurts, this helps soothe it. I put it on at night before going to bed. Um, you can use these during the day. I just normally didn't do it because I used them at night and I was trying to give my skin a break. Um, but um, would repurchase these. There are cheaper alternatives out there, but these are very good. Um, let's see, came with nine patches. So very good, like those a lot. Irish Spring Bar Soap. Um, this was our very last one. I know I've been saying that for a while, and I kept finding them. This is our last one of our original Irish Spring pack from uh, Sam's Club. We got a big old pack uh, the night before we got married at Sam's Club in December 2020. And this is the last one. <laughs> we are done with those. And um, we haven't had that bar soap at the sink for a little bit. And my husband's like, where's the Irish Spring? I was like, it's gone. <laughs> it's all gone. So um, looks like we're going to be getting some more of that potentially soon. We'll see. And this is the Belief Aqua Balm, Aqua Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. 1.68 fluid ounces face cream. I know this came from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Why am I smelling it? Um, At some point in like a set and really love this. I've used this off and on throughout the years. This is a beautiful cream. Um, the set was about $20. So this real retails for 38 on its own, I think usually. Um, it came with like a little essence and then a cleansing balm too, like a small, you know, small deluxe size sample. So that was a great way to have that. If you would like to try it, check out those kind of stores and it's a beautiful lightweight gel. Um, this one might be a little bit heavier than, they have like a cream and then a gel or something like that. There's different formulations. I've tried uh, pretty much all of them and I love them. So really, really love that. And I have an oily skin type, if I didn't already say that. Oh, I'm not going to let this get too close. So I'll hold it back here. This is a dry idea um, gel stick and the unscented, um, my ride or die deodorant. And I think this was my husband's bar, 
but I use this too. Um, we each have our own bar and can't say enough good things about this. If they ever decide to discontinue this, I will be so sad and I will buy like all of them. <laughs> if I can get my hands on, this is so good. If you have um, really sweaty underarms, if you have really sensitive underarms where you get like bumps under there, if something breaks you out like that for deodorant, if you are super sweaty, this feels dry under your arms. It really controls odor. It's strong. Um, this stuff is so good. Put this in a Christmas stocking. I don't think any, anybody could go wrong with this. It's great. We have a toothpaste. My toothpaste, the Arm & Hammer. Is this Proxicare? No, Complete Care. This was good. The, the flavor of this wasn't my favorite. Fresh Mint, but I used it. It was fine. It just took me a little bit to get adjusted. But I know some people are a little sensitive to uh, toothpaste taste. So um, I would say it is a pretty smooth formula because it does say ultra smooth. I would repurchase this. I have Arm & Hammer again. This was recommended as a brand by my dentist. Very happy with it. Very happy with how clean my teeth feel and my mouth feels. I feel like I've been having really good checkups and really love that. So nice toothpaste. We're almost done here. Last body wash. Good old country apple. Love this. I love apple scents. I was like on apple kick for a little bit. Apple blossom, fresh maguette, sheer sunlight, orchid woods. Great. Oldie wood a goodie. Wood repurchase. I can't remember if I have a body mist in it. This is so good and juicy, but not just straight apple, but it smells so good. Wood repurchase. And also wood bath and body works. Please bring back pear berry. I miss pear berry so much sunscreen here. Um, complete no stress physical sunscreen with mugwort by the brand Axis Y. And I cut him open. All gone. This was a physical sunscreen and it's SPF 50 PA++++. It's supposed to be really good for the rating as far as how well it will last on the skin. Um, is this, it's either, I think it might be Korean. This came from YesStyle. It did not leave a weird white cast on me. Um, I am pretty fair, so I don't know how it would behave on anyone darker complected, but this was uh, really nice under makeup. And um, even without makeup, was fine on its own. Nice, very, how would you say, precise uh, applicator there. So I really love that. Would repurchase. I have some other sunscreens right now. Another skincare product, Skin Lab Hydro Facial Serum. It says hydrate and replenish hyaluronic acid and marine extracts, 30 mil. Mm, excuse me. So I know that there's still some in here, but I have scraped out what I can. Oh, I can get that on my hands. Um, use this as like a nighttime moisturizer. It was kind of like that consistency. It wasn't liquidy. So I do like this. I'm not a big fan of the packaging. It's kind of hard to get stuff out towards the end, but it's a nice product and maybe like $3.99, $4.99 at Marshall's for me. So it was nice, probably a one and done for me, but I do like the Skin Lab um, as a brand. Their face cream is so good. <laughs> Two more things and they are makeup. So we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh uh, Powder. This is in the scent, scent, <laughs> in the shade 120 Fair. I had meant to get the uh, translucent, like no pigment shade, and that's the mirror, but I accidentally got that shade. So luckily it was the correct shade for me. Nice blurring powder. Actually, I can use this kind of like a powder foundation. Really love this. It's about 11 or $12, I think at Walmart or something in my area. And it's a 10 gram compact here. Really like the pink compact. Not that that's super important, but super cute. And I uh, would repurchase, but I'll get a translucent shade. Translucent. <laughs> um, but the one with the pigment was fine too. Then I have um, a pretty old, <laughs> maybe embarrassingly old eyeshadow here that got finished just by NARS. The only single I've ever had by them. And it's this Regal or Rigel. Rigel? I, I don't know. Um, but this was like just a champagne champagne rose gold shade and I scraped out everything I was going to get out of there. <laughs> There's still some in the waffle pan but you know I repressed it a couple times and you know 
I felt like I was damaging my brush and not really really getting any more color payoff. So I'm gonna call it done. Um, this is a 1.5 gram little pot here or packaging. So really like this one all over the lid. It's just a good like everyday shade for me. What I would purchase, no, because I have eyeshadow for forever. <laughs> so, um, but I'm glad it's done and that's another makeup empty for me. So that is everything. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again. Bye.